Hello people, I'm Comic, and today I have something very interesting to show you. Now, it's not that hole over there, uh, it's behind my head now. There we go. What hole are you guys talking about? <sighs> no, today I'll be showing you, uh, what I've been working on for like the past, uh, forever. Uh, there's, there's no hole here. What do you guys, what, someone said a hole? I didn't, I didn't hear anything about a hole. But, the past like, month or so, I've been working on a... Uh, a game in a box or a map in a box and what that pretty much is is you take this huge box that's made out of bedrock so no one can break into it you plop it down in a world and then you get your friends you put it on a server and then you get to play some games well you, you also don't have to get your friends I mean some of them could be single player but that's besides the point uh, what I did is I did one in the chamber which uh, for anyone that plays Call of Duty Black Ops you'll know I I personally don't play that game. Uh, I was just made a video a couple weeks ago about a server that, about me playing on a server that did, because it was insanely fun. So pretty much what it is is you get a bow and you get one arrow and a sword, and whenever you shoot somebody with the arrow, it's an instant kill. If they die, you get another arrow, and if you shoot your arrow, you miss. You have to stab him with the sword, and every time you kill a player, you get another arrow. So you can stab four, three people, and then you'll have four arrows to, you know, shoot around at everybody. I shot five. So, uh, let's... Oh, yeah. This is a glitch. Okay. <laughs> so, let's get right into it. This is where you spawn. Uh, come on. Give me... There you go. For some reason... That's stupid. Uh, so what happens is when you spawn in here, you, you'll spawn right where the sign is, because I'll sh show you how to do this later. And you got three, you got four options. Well, maybe more than four, but it doesn't matter. You could either be a spectator, which will put you in creative mode, make you invisible, and teleport you to the middle of the map. Uh, you can get a help book, which is pretty not helpful. And... Well, this really isn't an option. You have to press this before you start the game, otherwise the game won't work correctly. And when you're ready to start, you just jump into one of these things. A block will extend so no one else could jump into. And just start playing. So, let's move over here to see what the redstone's like. Yay, right? Okay. This, it, this makes that light flash over here for, uh, you press the button. This is this just creates scoreboards and um, over here yeah that's a lot it, it takes the player it does some stuff it puts them on the team it gives them some stuff what's, what's this what's that that's nothing and uh, the, after the first person has gone in it gives everyone else 30 seconds using this very long clock over here to uh, join in and then after 30 seconds is up you start playing over here is uh, a death counter so whenever someone loses well no I'm sorry this is how you detect the winner uh, whenever there's more than two whenever there's one person with one life left uh, it does something and stuff happens yeah <laughs> I, I seriously forget how it is this is the inner workings of the game there's a death counter over here uh, but I use this with help from a YouTuber named Dragnaz. I'll put him in the description, because uh, without him, uh, the death ca l counting the amount of lives that people would have would not be possible. Over here, we got a. Uh, this gives you the arrows, um, and this is just. Uh, yeah, that's just some stuff. <laughs> um, and over here, what's this one? Oh, okay. This. What is this again? Uh, oh, yeah. This makes sure everyone gets teleported over to the spawn point once they enter the server. So that's something. And uh, over here, this makes sure people don't get too far away. Because after you reach a certain limit away, a certain distance away from the center, you'll start taking damage. And that's not fun. So this over here is the spawning tubes. The players will spawn in here, land on the pressure plate. They'll get a sword. Uh, they'll get some arrows and that sort yeah and they'll get their bow Let's see there you go that's a bow enchant uh power 100 all the way yes and uh yeah so that's everything on the first floor now time for the second floor yay right all right 
This is a logout detector. This took me so long. Oh, this was made. I wouldn't be able to do this without Dragnaz's help again. Uh, using like a bunch of this, like this part right here, detects what players are. So pretty much what it does is it makes per people player one, and then after that, uh, it'll make it player two. But if you log out, it'll start this clock up, which will put you at zero lives, and it'll put you back to player one. Er, it'll reset all your lives and. Uh, Teleport you back to the beginning. So if you log out you lose so don't do that and that's pretty much it So uh, thank you guys all for watching. Please sp spread it around play it with your friends. Oh wait No, actually I have to show you how to install this. So uh, I'll jump into a new world and I'll show you how. Okay, now that we're in MC edit you want to click uh, Load world if you're doing this in single player if you're doing it in a multiplayer thing And you got the world on like some file or something you have to do open a level and you have to click around for it But uh, I'm just gonna click load world because I have this in single player. That's one in the chamber box testing click on that Okay, so what you want to do is you want to import the schematic uh, hmm. Import and you probably can't see this but uh there we go. There it is. That's our thing. So you pretty much click it, import it, and you probably want to stick it way, way, way underground. So uh, just go all the way down to the bottom, hit nudge, and push it all the way down. Don't want to have it go out of the world. That's pretty bad. Uh, let's put it a little bit farther down. You want to click copy air so that way nothing spawns inside of it and import it into the game and then you also want to click filter and I'm looking for uh there's a you have to download you have to also download a filter I'm sorry the uh what's it called some with signs no I of course I can't find it uh Command block sides. You want to click that and hit filter, because that will make sure that everything works. Then you just have to save it and put it on a server and play with your friends. Okay, so uh, I had to do a little bit of fiddling around because I forgot to add something because I'm a stupid head. But um, yeah, uh, pretty much what happens is it spawns you in here. And if I want to be the blue guy, uh, let's. Let's put myself in survival mode, hop in the blue spot, it'll teleport me into here, and it'll, I should have resistance, and I get, I have 30 seconds, and I got slowness something, so um, I have to wait around, and all my friends will spawn in different places, and Skype just went off, oh my god, I forgot to turn off Skype, I'm sorry guys, I failed you, I failed you, but anyway, after that 12 seconds, you go around and you murderize each other, and it'll be fun. Or not the 12 seconds, after the 30 seconds. Oh no, I dropped my bow. Or sword, sword. I shot my sword. So, yeah. That's a great bundle of fun. It says go. You're free to go. Come over here. You see your friend. You get your bow out. You shoot him. You get an arrow. Woohoo. Fun stuff. Alright. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys have fun with it. Make sure to play with your friends. And I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace out.